Hi, teacher. Good morning. How are you? I'm pretty good, teacher. And you? Uh, I'm doing okay. Thank you very much. Good morning, teacher. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for joining us here in our class. The last class from this week. Okay. Let's keep admitting the rest of the guys. Okay. So we can begin our class. Okay, let's keep admitting everyone. Let's see, we have here. Okay. Uh, do you know about uh, Mr. Juan Antonio Samayoa? Is he being in classes with you guys? Do you know if uh, he has been in classes? I'm talking about Juan Antonio Samayoa. Anyone that might know him? Okay, it's probably not here with us. Okay, we are 27. We're now going to give a couple of more minutes. Uh, see who else can join uh, the class, okay? Yes, Daniel, tell me. I have one question from the exam. Es que se lo voy a decir en español así más fácil porque está algo complicado. Mm -hmm. eh, ok. Para lo del examen, yo lo hice y todo y tal. Creo que saqué 28, 27, si no estoy mal. Pero, okay. pero, 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 o sea, yo lo terminé ahí y no estoy seguro si le habré mandado captura de como que el forms, ¿me entienden? Ajá. Entonces, ¿eso sí era necesario o no era necesario mandar captura del forms? Porque yo sí hice el forms. Ya. Yeah. If they ask you to do it, you, you were supposed to do it. But anyway, I have your score here. Ah, oh, okay, 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 okay. Está bien, gracias, bro. The rest is okay, all right? Okay, uh, Juan Diego, do you have a question? Mm. <clears throat> uh, teacher, um, uh -huh. no, but we, we still have my English lab, right? Yes, okay. Uh, all right. I'm laughing because I know what you're going to ask me, okay? And uh, I received uh, your mother's uh, email, okay? Asking for mm -hmm. the, uh, the right test. And uh, I want you to okay. go and uh, click on the link, okay? From the test and take it, uh, the right one, okay? The correct one. Take it today okay. and send it to my today. email, okay? Okay. Send it to my email because it won't let you uh, on Edu anymore, okay? Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Not a problem with that. If you have any other problem, just let me know. Okay. But in fact, uh, you are one of two guys that uh, didn't get the, the right, okay, the right test. But anyway, everything is okay now. Thank you. And for the rest of you guys, uh, you did a pretty good job. Okay. Uh, it's good. You're learning. I can see that you are paying attention. Some of you just uh, probably get confused with the exam. What you have to do is first try to read, okay, the instructions, what they ask you to, okay? Sometimes it's not that it's going to be a tricky question, but it's uh, something that you have to uh, read very well in order to answer it, okay? So don't get confused with uh, what they ask in the exam on the test, okay? which is this week or today's class. And next week, we will keep doing a review from our unit one, okay? Why am I, am I going to do this? Because I want you to understand really well what we are uh, seeing on our books, okay? 
uh, from uh, what I like or, or what is the what I work I mean and submit one okay so for this before we uh, begin our classes I'm going to go for the uh, for the attendance list all right so please answer uh, after I ask uh, your name okay so do we have here Balcarcel Soto? Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. Barrios Rivas. Mr. Diego Alexander. Okay. He probably will join us later. Okay, Barrios Diego. Teacher, teacher. Yeah. Sorry, I'm, oh, I am here. Sorry. Okay. All right. Good, good. Thank you. Beltran Carlos Rodrigo. Present teacher. Okay. Cagar Rebulijo aquí. Present teacher. Thank you. Carranza Osorio Miguel Ángel. Present teacher. Thank you. Castellano López Eduardo. Present teacher. Okay. Daniel Alejandro Coto. Present teacher. Thank you. Dubón José. Mr. Dubon Jose. Keith Richard, present, present. Thank you. Garcia Garnica Angel. Mr. Garcia Angel Gabriel. All right. Uh, Garcia Rodriguez Diego. Present. Thank you. Gonzalez Maldonado Arrow. Present. Thank you. Ischiak Marcelo Roman. Present teacher. Thank you. Loera Garcia Francisco. Present. Thank you. Maldonado Juan Manuel. Present. Thank you. Marroquín Cruz José Javier. Present. Thank you. Martínez Solares Juan Diego. Present. Thank you. Masadio Figueroa Adolfo. Present. Thank you. Meléndez Reina Pablo. Mr. Meléndez Reina. Ah, okay, Pablo Andrés Meléndez. Uh, he's raising his hand. If you cannot, uh, okay, there you are. Thank you. Okay. So uh, whoever is, uh, his mic is not working, just can write it on the chat, okay? Present or anything like that. So I know that you're okay, okay? Thank you. So let's see. Uh, Monroy Maldonado Christopher. Present. Thank you. Muñoz Fuentes Daniel. Present. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Manuel, okay. Oh, Daniel. Muñoz Fuentes, Daniel, Daniel Pérez, Velázquez, Pablo. Present. Thank you, Ramírez Varela, Emilio. Present. Thank you, Resinos Galeotti, Sebastián. Present. Thank you, Rodríguez Galvez, Sebastián. Rodríguez Galvez, Sebastián. Rodríguez Yaque Martín. Present teacher. Thank you. Ruiz Mendizábal Elmar. Mr. Ruiz Elmar. Okay. Samayoa Ruiz Juan Antonio. Uh, I believe he's not here right now. Samayoa Luis. Antonio, okay. Juan Antonio, sorry. Sanchez Juan Jose. Present. Thank you. Okay. Solares Portillo Emilio. Present teacher. Thank you. Sots Diego Juan Pablo. 
present. Thank you. Vasquez Sierra Mirol de Jesus. Present. Thank you. Velasquez Alpires Fernando. Present teacher. Thank you very much. So, okay, this is uh, the whole list. Let's say, uh, let's see, Garcia Angel hasn't been uh, here yet. Let's see. Garcia Angel, Rodriguez Sebastián, Ruiz Elmar, and Samayoa Juan. They are not here yet. Okay. Well, uh, we will continue. And remember that I, I was going to show you uh, a video, but I couldn't do it uh, in my house because my internet is not as fast as the one we have here in, uh, at school, at the Moscos. Okay. So for now, I will show you this. We're going to see the uh, little refresh of uh, present perfect. And then we will go to see the other one, okay? The differences are between present perfect and present perfect continuous, okay? So I'm going to show a screen right now. See, uh, we have here this uh, over here. And please let me know if you can listen to this video uh, if it is okay. If you have problems, we will go back, okay? But anyway, uh, here we go. Pay attention, okay? I will be uh, stopping the video just to give an extra explanation about this, okay? All right. In this lesson, we're focusing on the present perfect tense. What it looks like, how do you use it? Sure. Yes. Sorry, good morning. Uh, Garcia Danica write me and uh, he don't he can't stay in the class because he had a uh, family problem. Garcia uh, Nica. Well up, uh, Danica. Okay. Let's see. Okay, so he is got Angel Garcia Angel. Right. Okay. All right, all right. I will uh check on this, okay? Okay. All right. Uh, I will try to see uh, what's going on with him, okay? But thank you for uh, telling me, right? Hey, teacher. Okay, let's keep uh, watching this. Hello, I'm Emma from English. If you don't feel confident using the present perfect tense in English yet, there's probably a few reasons why. There's those nasty irregular words in past participle form. And maybe you feel unsure about when to use the present perfect and when to use the past simple tense. Even if you're quite good at using the present perfect tense, it's definitely worth reviewing this tense to jog your memory. That expression means to remind yourself. So are you ready to start? Grab a notepad and a pen and let's go over this beautiful tense right now so that you can feel more confident using it. Oh, and if you can think of a friend who needs to review this tense too, make sure you share this lesson with them. Click the share button just underneath this video. They'll thank you for it. First thing, the grammatical structure. What does it look like? Well, it looks like this. Subject, has or has, and your main verb in past participle form. So the subject you already know. You can use a proper noun or a pronoun. I, she, they. In the perfect tenses, the verb has is an auxiliary verb. It's a helping verb. It's not the main verb in the sentence. And that means that it's usually unstressed and often contracted when it's spoken. So she has become she. I have become I. But I'll talk more about that soon. But then comes the main verb. Okay, let's just stop right here for a second, okay? We all know what, uh, when she's referring about subject, what she's talking about, right? Uh, what she's saying is here that the subject can be a noun, a proper noun, like a name, okay? 
Miguel, Mike, John, uh, Robert, etc. Okay. Or we can use pronouns as well, right? Well, the pronouns are I, you, he, she, it, and we are going to speak in plural uh, forms, we, you, and they, okay? So we're going to add to this uh, pronouns or proper nouns, okay? Which they will be uh, called subject in this case. We're going to add our uh, auxiliary verb, which is have, or have or has, okay? Have or has. Has we use it when we uh, apply uh, or when we are talking about uh, her or a she, he or it or a name, okay? We are talking about Robert, about John, okay? About Martin, etc. okay? And the main verb. The main verb never will be in present form nor in past form. It will be in past participle, right? She, she will talk about these uh, verbs, how they change, okay? From present to past to past participle, all right? Let's keep watching this. In the present perfect tense, the main verb is in past participle form, not in past simple form. Now, this is no problem for regular past for regular verbs, the past participle form is the same as the simple past. So you just need to add the ED. What in the present tense becomes what in past simple, and it's also what in past participle form. Last becomes last, and is also last. Dance, dance. Cold, cold, cold. And even some irregular verbs use the same verb for past simple as the past participle form. Has in the present tense becomes has in the simple past, and it also has as a past participle. Easy, right? Win, one, one. But these really irregular verbs are the ones that cause all of the headaches because there are three different forms that you need to remember. Let's not do another stop right here. I just wrote uh, on the chat, okay, the way we can use or, uh, well, pronounce the words or the verbs, the regular verbs in past tense. As you can see, as uh, she's saying that the past simple and the past participle with regular verbs, they are written in the same way. The only thing that we need to do in those uh, verbs is add, you can add D or ED or IED, okay? Those are the three uh, uh, letters that we can write or add to our verbs. For example, when we use IED, when we are using, for example, the verb study, study ends with the letter Y. We're going to take this letter Y off and then add IED. It will translate to a, from a study to a study, okay? So that's uh, the way we going to uh, mention or pronounce uh, the past participle verbs, the regular verbs, okay? Let's see about the regular, irregular verbs, okay? They in the present tense become went in the past simple and in the past participle form, it's been or gone. Some more examples. Fly, flee, flame. Throw, flew, thrown. Do, did, done. Become, became, become. Speak, spoke, spoken. I'm sure you can think of many more examples. But with these verbs, there's no pattern, there's no rule to follow. You just need to memorize the past participle form. But keep an eye out for my next video next week, which 
will help you to practice and memorize these past participle forms of irregular verbs. Okay. Uh, if you need to know a little bit more about these verbs, okay, you can use your book, Summit One, okay, and then you can go to page 122 and 23. You have a list, a short list, okay, of our irregular verbs. Irregular verbs come, okay, in base form or present form here, okay past form okay and the last column it is in past participle form you can have it here in 122 page and 123 okay this is the continuation of this but if you need to know a little bit more about all the uh the irregular verbs you can uh just google it okay go to google uh platform and type okay irregular verbs then you can have all the uh, there is a list a long list over a hundred uh, verbs unfortunately the only way to use them is memorizing them okay so you need to memorize all these verbs but it's not that the, you're going to get the list and memorize it all you have to practice how can you practice and learning uh, or learn all these verbs well reading is one okay uh listening to a uh, tv for example sitcoms uh movies comedies etc okay or uh talking okay try to speak with someone that speaks uh, english okay there is plenty of people that you can use uh, or you can practice your english with okay for example you might have uh, brothers friends or even if uh, for the ones that play video games you can share a little bit of uh well when we are uh, we are playing video games with uh, people from other countries okay english speaking countries you can share a little bit of chatting okay that way you can learn about it, okay so let's continue with this video all right in fact if you subscribe to this channel click the red button here then you'll find out as soon as it's ready but to use the present perfect tense well, you may need to polish up on some useful irregular English words and remind yourself about their past participle form. But let's get back to the structure. You have the subject, you have has or has, and a past participle verb. I have asked my parents to lend me. You have been really helpful today. They have flown to the capital to meet with the officials. She has saved enough money to buy a car. She has forgotten where her hotel is. Now, in this structure, often has and has are contracted to mm, and I are. You've been, they've flown, he stayed, she's forgotten. Got it? Good. So when should you use the present perfect tense? Well, when there is a connection between the present and the past. Think of it like a bridge that's connecting the present and the past. For example, when something started in the past and continues in the present, they've been married for three years. You can use it to talk about an activity that you've done several times in the past and that you continue to do now. She has read many books and she probably read more. You can also use the present perfect to talk about life experience. He hasn't traveled overseas before. Now, before I give you some more examples, let's talk about when to use the past simple tense and the present perfect tense. Because this is often the confusing part about this tense. To answer this question, 
you need to think about time. Finished time and unfinished time. So think about last week. That's a good example of finished time. Last week is finished, it's over. But what about this week? Is this week finished? No, not yet. That's an example of unfinished time. There's still more of this week to come. We we'll make a, a quick stop here, okay? Just to explain a little bit. What she's saying is the difference between, okay, past tense and when to use it and perfect present tense, okay? So for example, when we're going to speak about something that's uh, finished, okay? Finished time she's referring to, right? Uh, she's going to use the past uh, tense or the past form, okay? And when something is unfinished, you are still doing it. It is keeping in the past, but you're still doing it, okay? Or hasn't finished that, okay? Uh, we are talking about present perfect. She's going to mention some examples as when to use uh, past tense and pres a perfect present tense, okay? Not finished yet. Yesterday, last week, last month, last year, 1991, these are all examples of finished time, time that is complete. When you're talking about a time period that has finished, like these, you need to use the past simple. But when you're talking about a time period that is unfinished, like today, this week, this year, this month, use the present perfect tense. So let's compare some examples. Last month, I visited my brother three times. This month, I have visited my brother twice. But the month isn't finished yet, and I may visit him again. Try an example with me. He borrowed my car yesterday. So this sentence is in the past simple. It's finished time. Now, try to change it to the present perfect. What do you need to do? Two things. You need to add the auxiliary verb. He has. Has. Not has. It changes because our subject is he. He has borrowed my car today or this week. We need to change the time expression too for our sentence to work in the present perfect time. It must be Okay, so those were all examples of the present perfect in positive sentences. But what about negative form? Of course, we need to add not to our sentence, to our structure. Subject plus have or has plus not, and then our past participle verb. So compare these sentences. Last month, I visited my brother three times. This month, I haven't visited him at all. But the month isn't over yet. I may still visit him. Again, see that this structure is usually contracted in spoken English. Haven't. This is the most common way to contract a negative form. But you may also see people say, I've not visited. Both ways are acceptable, but you can't contract all three words together. I haven't. You can't do that. It's one contraction. Or it's okay, as you can see here, the only thing that we need to do when we are using negative uh, sentences are uh, is to write uh, not, okay? And also, North Americans, okay, use too much, uh, a lot of contractions, okay? Contractions of this are this, okay? For example, instead of saying, I have not visited them, okay? They use I, 
not a visited him. Okay. Or they can say, I haven't visited him. Okay. Both ways, as she said, they are okay. <clears throat> but we cannot say, for example, I haven't. Okay. Contract the whole thing. I have enough cannot be contracted. You can use one or the other, okay? Only one time, all right? In a sentence, all right? For example, I've not visited him or I haven't visited him, okay? Do you have any questions at this time? Anyone can tell me you have a question regarding this subject? No one? Did I put you to sleep already? I don't have a question, teacher. You don't have a question. Okay. All right. So uh, we will continue see the end of this. Okay. See, we can still have more time. All right. Another example. He ate so much yesterday. Notice the time word that we're using. So in present perfect, negative. We can say he hasn't eaten a lot today, but there's still more day, so he could eat more food. One more example. They were at school yesterday. In the present perfect, they haven't been at school all morning, but the day's not finished yet, and they may arrive in the afternoon. Of course, you need to ask present perfect questions too, right? As with all English question forms, our auxiliary verb needs to change position. So we have have and has, our subject and our past participle verb. Are you playing the bathroom? Have you eaten enough? Has it rained today? Have they finished yet? Now compare these two questions. Did you go to Thailand last year? This is a past simple question, so the auxiliary verb do takes the tense. It becomes do. But now compare it to have you been to Thailand? This means at any time in the past, it's your last experience. But of course, you're still alive, so you may go in the future. The difference is the time left. There is a lot to think about when using the present perfect tense, right? But I hope that this lesson made everything a little easier, especially the basics. If you're clear on the basics, it's a good thing. Make sure that you're subscribed to the new English channel because the next few lessons that I make will help you to practice using the present perfect tense. You don't want to miss them. Just click that red subscribe button just there. You can watch more new English lessons right here, where you can improve your pronunciation and your English speaking skills by practicing with the imitation technique right here. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye for now. Okay, guys. Uh, I'm going to. Uh copy this link again okay so you can have it i would like to uh for you to watch it okay it is very interesting and in fact as you can see here the next classes that she has okay is uh 10 common grammar mistakes when you are uh, writing something okay or you're pronouncing something do it the right way or english imitation lessons okay that's the way that you can uh pronounce better the way you uh, when you speak okay so i will share this with you guys okay uh hopefully you have the time to uh watch it it is very useful okay and, and don't mind uh there, uh there are people i know some of you are very good at speaking okay and speak very well probably better than me okay i can see uh, i can uh i watch some videos Okay, that uh, they are really good. Okay, the U.S. speaking are uh, pretty good. You have good uh, uh, pronunciation, uh, good train of uh, talking and uh, speaking as well. So 
but for those that doesn't have this okay uh you can use these links okay to watch them all right just take about uh, 30 minutes uh, of your time any day that you want to practice okay and you can uh, get better at uh, your uh, english all right so let's just stop sharing right here okay we have 9 35 okay for uh next week as i said okay we're going to keep continue uh we will continue sorry about a review from our book summary one okay and also we will do a little bit more of these lessons for our world okay too okay remember that we saw yesterday we were talking about uh the day before that was tuesday uh monday i'm sorry okay uh wednesday what that was all right we were talking about uh gutenberg okay so uh we want uh, we want to uh, get into this today okay because because we don't have too much time left but what i'm going to say is next week we're going to do a review from these two books then we're going to check on our uh also let me see here we're going to be seeing about This one over here, I will share the screen real quick. Okay, check on my own as well. Okay, for the uh, people that hasn't uh, signed in yet, try to do it as soon as possible. Okay, because next unit we will be checking a lot of this. Right, get a subject a subject that you like to uh, or you like to read about. Okay. And we will keep reading as well as practicing okay uh you're going to have to talk a lot more so please uh try to practice at home all right i'm going to ask you some uh, subjects or what you think about certain uh, uh themes or subjects that we're going to check okay so for this uh this is our uh book or a platform that we can use uh, this uh next unit okay so let's stop right here. Uh, tell me, do you have any questions regarding this? No, no. teacher. Okay. No teacher. All right. So uh, we will stop right here. Okay. Uh, if the, you have any other uh, something to ask me, they come up later on. You can write to my email, okay, institutional email, please. All right. Regarding unit one okay right now there is no way that we can uh, i can give you something for you to get more points it's already over okay unit one is finished we don't have anything else to do with that okay for next unit unit two please if you have questions or you can uh, finish your uh, guide okay for example guide one finish it and send it to me right and then ask me uh can you check on that see if i can make it uh can correct something or something like that so i will do it okay for you that's the only way that i can help you with but if you said that the last day and then two weeks later you want to make corrections it is impossible for me to do it okay because the time is uh, way over right so make sure finish it on time or before send it to me okay i will revise it and make always write on edu's platform something for you to get better or to uh change all right so for me it is uh good to see you today thank you very much and i wish you a good week a good weekend okay have fun have some rest as well all right <laughs>